So we got this bumpy, bumpy road out to our new house, and check this dude out. He's actually the guy who's working hard to try to fix our road. I don't know who he is. I think he lives, I think he's a neighbor who lives on the hill up there. He was working on the road up there. Pardon the dirty windows. We're not even done moving in. That's so great to see people working on the streets because it is quite a bumpy ride out here. I'm so grateful for people like this. This is awesome. Hey, wait. Hey, buddy, where are you going? Hey, he's just stealing dirt from down here. He's not fixing our road. Hey, come back. What the heck? Just here getting ready for work and I'm waking up and I'm tired. It's been uh, it's been quite the week. We've been moving the entire week and late nights. I've been getting off from work and coming home after work and still working, moving, going to bed really late, getting up really early and I'm tired. This is day six of the move and finally we have everything out of the house completely. And now what's left is to completely organize everything here, which means I'm not done, but at least after work every day, I can come home and not have to go to the other place and stay up really, really late. <laughs> I'll take you and let you see what has to be put away and I don't know what we're gonna do with the other stuff. So come with me. I mean, he's, d he's done moving, but I'm not. I mean, day six, I still there's still stuff at the other house. Well, here's all of this. Look, wait, we have to start with the hallway in front of the refrigerator. I promise you we're not hoarders, but it may look like it, but we're not. So there's all of this stuff and there's more stuff. Does anybody need any pillows? Set all the pillows out of here. <laughs> oh, there's our amazing view. So I guess it's okay that we have a lot of stuff. And there's more stuff and at some point we will have everything totally straightened out put up in the proper place and things will not look like this they will look perfect like me <laughs> <laughs> look at the kitchen area <laughs> yeah the goal today is to just get everything else out of the old house, yeah? Yes. Uh, there's just a few things left there. And it's inside the garage, so um, that'll be done in just a moment. My wife is going to take care of that. I'm off to work like a good boy, and uh, we'll be done. Oh, my God. It's so freaking hot in here. It's, I was gone doing the last of the move. Yay! It's official day six and we finally got moved out but it's there's stuff okay this is it I mean there's stuff everywhere you can't find anything we can't sit down uh, and look at this it looks like a garbage dump it looks like Ross exploded or Target all right and since I was gone all day the windows were closed Oh, you gotta see this. The windows were closed. It was 96 degrees in here when I got in. But I don't like heat too much. I don't do so well with heat. But look. Look at this. Holy crap. Seriously. Oh my god. Okay. This is it though. We're officially moved. Aaron's back at work. And uh, there was a goat in the yard when I got here. And um, I'm just trying to protect my vegetable garden that I set outside from the goats and the bunnies. And the bugs. <laughs> Good luck with that. Okay, so day six, massive disaster, and it's super freaking hot. But this is um, tomorrow's day one of our new life. Okay, it's our first official day. This is uh, end of move day six, so it's our first official meal 
<laughs> in our house. And it's so effing hot that we had to bring a table over by the door and put a fan. We're literally sitting like right at the door. <laughs> this little table. He's in his underwear. I'm essentially in my underwear, like little workout outfit. It's so hot, we, that's all we can do. So, but we're getting veggie grill. Yes, and it looks delicious. Delicious <laughs> vegan meal. So anyway, it's official. We finally, finally, finally moved in and we're gonna have a meal and then try to dig our way over to the sofa and sit down for a minute if it's cooled off enough to sit inside. Otherwise, we're just gonna both sit by the door. <laughs> It's day one of the move-in process. That's what I'm calling it. Like yesterday was day six of the move-out process and everything's out of the old house. And now we're trying to, I'm looking at this stuff in the background here. Ah, now we're trying to figure out um, where everything goes and we're making some good progress actually, considering this is, you know, we started last night and it's, one thing that's clear is we're going to have to get rid of a lot more stuff, but now we know whatever fits stays and no reason to hold on to stuff that doesn't fit in your house. So, and we were just told that, um, the water truck's coming tomorrow. We have purchased a big water tank outside that that's how we're going to get our water. A water truck fills it. We're off grid hundred percent pretty much except for our cell phones. And, um, so, we don't have our water tank hooked up. There's a whole bunch of moving parts that need to go in there and um, we probably want to raise it up. So uh, yeah, we have a lot to do. We weren't planning on doing that today because we still only have one key to this place and no keys to, <laughs> to even put the drinking water into the trailer. We don't even have keys for that. So we don't have keys for the bins underneath. So lots to do. And um, I still have to go get mail at the mail place, but we're making progress, see? I mean, it's not as bad as it was. It's not as bad. Okay, 9.30 in the morning. And it's already starting to warm up. So I need to get on the computer to look for a locksmith and some other stuff before it gets hot. But check this out. Do you see that? Ugh. Ugh. That's not even, that's not even dust. That's like silt. Like, that's like sand. That's got to go. It's all over everything from keeping these windows open. But if I don't keep the windows open, yesterday when I came in here, it was about 100 degrees in here. Oh, we got to do something about that air conditioning quick. Quick. Okay, it's still day one of the move-in, and I was making some pretty good progress. Got the, the locksmith out to do the keys, and um, ran off to get the mail, because it's going to the UPS store. And when I came back, there's no power in the entire trailer. None. No fan, no lights, there's no nothing. So I don't have internet to look somebody up. I can try to uh, look on my phone. Um, the repair guy is not answering, of course. But uh, So I'm sitting here in the doorway where I can get a cool breeze because I don't get any fans going. Um, yeah, and it's getting late. <sighs> Sorry, there's a fly on me. It's getting late. We have to get ready for the water delivery truck tomorrow. We have to set everything up for that, too. And I was just in the middle of ordering groceries online because I don't have time to go <laughs> and get groceries. Oh, my God. So I hope we get power somehow by tonight. Or, uh, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe stay in a hotel or something. But I'll tell you, this saving money thing isn't really saving money because we have been spending some money. Uh... 
I'm, I'm sure ultimately we'll save, but we've been spending some money on this place. So, uh, we'll see if somebody, if I can find somebody to fix our solar issue. The batteries are more than fully charged. They're way above what they even should be, so. <sighs> I think I see, I think I see what you do well. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so see, this is stuff we don't normally have to do. But since house. I'm such a manly handyman, I got this, yo. You got this, yo. Okay. Manly handyman using <laughs> a cell phone instead of a real man's flashlight. Because right. we had it. We had a flashlight last night and we don't know where do we put I it. Think. It's in the house somewhere. I'm pretty sure this is it. Uh oh. Something it just good. stopped. <laughs> and there's nothing blown out about this. Not blown out at all. So it's all not right. that. This, this tells, tells me absolutely me nothing. nothing. Yep, I knew we were going there. <laughs> oh, actually, it does tell me something. Okay, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. It's about, to get, it's about to get real, real up in here. Okay, so I see that. Okay, now I need Can to fix this. It? So. I don't understand all this oh, stuff. Oh, I'm working on understanding. Sometimes it takes a little longer to understand things in life. But you keep working. Okay. Gonna install. Try to set up the water. Because they're coming in the morning. We still don't have power. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Well. About to do some real manly man work right here. That's what I was born for. Yeah, something like that. That's my garden. Hi, you gonna eat my garden? Hi, babies. Yeah, I'm sure that my garden looks delicious. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Hello, gorgeous. Hello, gorgeous. Hi. See you later, guys. We've been in the trailer now, Chainway, for about a week. And it's coming together, it's coming together, it's coming together. We'll be done in a few days. Got our first water delivery the other day. And now I'm having groceries delivered, making these poor people drive all the way out into the middle of nowhere. <laughs> um, but. And this is a big butt. It's 104 degrees outside. And apparently with solar, you're not going to run the AC. And we never put gas in the generator. I don't even know if the generator works, but I also don't want to run a gasoline generator all day. That's opposite of what we're trying to do by being off grid. So now it's 100 degrees in the trailer. I can't run my computer because it's just too darn hot. Even the phone's hot. And I got a good breeze going through here because there's always a breeze in this valley, but 
it's just hot air just hot air blowing through here and like I think I might die I'm just melting I don't like heat I don't do well in heat but uh, I'm just sitting here sweating so now I'm just sitting here with nothing to do just running a bunch of fans I bought a an evaporative air cooler a personal one that's uh, at Lowe's and I'm making Aaron go pick it up on his way home from work but I don't know how that's gonna work and I don't I don't know if it's gonna trip the inverter because we've tripped the inverter a few times once with the the garbage disposal and once with the vacuum cleaner although I've also used both of those things with no problem before so I don't know what's going on because that fan it's not quite enough not quite enough to keep me cool in here just blowing hot air kind of like me Okay, so dang it was hot yesterday. It was over 100 degrees outside and 100 degrees inside and I was freaking out. So I had um, my dear husband rush over to Lowe's. It's a store that sells, you know, home, like Home Depot stuff like lumber and hardware and stuff. And we got this guy. I thought it was going to be a little desktop and uh, holy crap, it's like R2-D2. It's huge. Look how big this thing is. We got it kind of late in the day, but it was blowing cool air. And more importantly, it did not trip the inverter. So that's even with the cool, you know, like the cool air coming out. So it's not an air conditioner and air conditioner. It is what some people call a swamp cooler. So it uses water to cool. And that's totally fine here because we're kind of in the desert. We're almost in the high desert, so the humidity is always very, very low. Now, of course, today it's not as hot, so I probably won't run it, but next week we'll give it the real test and see how well it really holds up. kitty pie. I guess I better go stop him. And then there's one over here, but he's not eating anything. My tree's gonna be dead before you know it. At least I haven't gotten to the vegetables. Oh, bad bunnies. Bad, bad bunnies. A little update for you. So... We had the sewer septic people come out to drain the tanks. They came out twice. And they can't um, get into the tanks. So they were able to empty the black water tank. But um, there's an electronic switch. Okay. And that's not working. It's getting no power. We also don't have any heat because the electric ignition is not um, switch is not working to light the pilot light. So and we're almost out of propane and we went to the store we got there five minutes before they closed but they had already shut down propane uh, they shut that down early so it's cold and even though it's June and and we don't have enough propane but we're okay we don't we have some propane we don't have any heat um, and our galley water is almost full and our gray water is full and uh, we're kind of tripping. So our friend Steve, the guy who moved this place for us, 
he's coming to try to help because we can't get the RV repair people to call us back. We've been trying to reach them for weeks. So we're just kind of, kind of desperate. But the good news is, is that um, our new washing machine just came. Now, let's hope that this washing machine doesn't um, trip the, the uh, inverter like some of the other stuff does. So we might be able to do wash in our own um, RV. So Steve should be here any minute. And fingers crossed that we'll actually be able to get our tanks open so we can continue to live in this um, uh, RV that we have purchased. We love Janeway. She's awesome. I'm looking outside. There's bunnies everywhere. You probably can't see that. There's bunnies everywhere out there. But we're loving it here. Uh, we just would like to be able to use our, um, our system. So, fingers crossed.